Hey guys, welcome to the Effects Guy channel. I'm really sorry for the late upload. I've been having so about there. All right, so uh, then we have to type in some text. Um, I gotta just put "Hey guys." All right, you can make it any color you want. Um, all right. So uh, next thing, you create a new adjustment layer. Okay, so um, with this new adjustment layer, um, so um, we're gonna drop in our, our displacement layer. All right, the one we created first, that one. Then you gotta just uncheck this. So um, the reason why we made it like this with different colors is because it's easier for the uh, for the displacement map plugin to read it out. All right, yeah. So I uh, remove this truck thing. That's if it's included in yours. I for that. All right. Make sure it's not there. Yeah, it will make our displacement look bad. All right, and you don't want that. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're done with this. Just uncheck this and um, let the adjustment layer be on top. And um, let's select the adjustment layer drop uh, the displacement map on it and come here displacement map layer and select our, our comp one all right so um let me show you something cool there so you go here to the max vertical displacement and move it well how about that looks nice right yeah so um uh, there are a lot of things guys you can do with this thing there are a lot of things and if you still don't like the way it displaces then you can still change it you, we could put this over here make it somehow like this and put this here alright and it changes automatically alright so when you displace it again it moves like that all right, so um, what we can do is um, we got to create a keyframe, all right? Move a couple of frames, like right here, all right? And move it down, move it, move it, move it. Yeah, you get a move it. Mm -hmm. You get a move it. All right, so continuously move it down, move it down, just like that, just like that, just like that. All right, so actually you gotta, uh, you gotta move it down, All right? Continuously move it down until, until there is totally nothing in the composition. All right, something like that. So uh, select this keyframes, right click keyframe assistant is easy. And so we have something like that. All right, looks nice. So all you have to do is put bring this a little bit closer to this. Select this keyframe. Go to the graph editor. Select these two. Uh, move this in. Move this in as well. So we have something like this. All right, it's looking pretty nice something like that yeah and if you don't want it going down you could uh, reverse this just select the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe so we have something coming up all right so it has been reversed yeah so uh, all you have to do is come here to your project select the slide duplicate it as many times as you want let's get into slide two all you have to do is change this picture uh, let's put um, let's put this hold alt drop it in yeah something like that change the text um, put it the things you want for my case I'm gonna put tutorial I could change it to a white color you could put in any color you feel like guys any color actually yeah, you could put it in any color you want. So uh, we still have a, a nice transition coming in. If it's 
kind of staying inside you could just move the picture down or you could actually just move the this keyframes just adjust it more all right yeah so um something like that all right looks nice you could do a little bit of more adjustment if you want yeah all right so uh with that let's create um the slide let's call it a slideshow it's kind of like a slideshow yeah all right so i'll uh, get our first slide and put in our second slide as well so i'll uh, get our second slide move it only a couple of frames okay so let's see what we have all right it's looking nice yeah well looking nice guys so you make as many slides as you want you could um make it continuous uh, the way you want it all right yeah so uh that has been it for today and for more please subscribe and leave a comment down below i really want to know what you think about this tutorial whether you liked it or anything so please let me know yeah until next time see you guys